I'd say uh, first things, uh, go ahead and introduce yourselves to everybody. Uh, myself, I'm Charlie Cole. I'm a dirty old man, grouchy. Don't believe me, ask David um, and Isaac and whatnot. But uh, my, uh, and I'll put it on out here, my hopes for this is to get this campaign to go from start to finish uh, first to 20th level. That, that's the the hope. Whether or not we make that, that's entirely going to be up to you and whether or not I kick the bucket um, type of thing. Uh, so, but uh, I'm, my hopes are to run it um, two times a month as far as that. We'll agree on what the general best time and day is for for the majority and uh, we're and keep in mind we'll always be flexible to flex for fellows uh, as far as that so don't feel that if you got we agree on uh, a certain um daytime uh and like that that and aspects of life come on up that uh, we can't uh, adjust. We we will. And so as as far as that, that's the start. Uh, that's to start with. And uh, I see that, uh, David dropped. Okay. Um, as far as that, but we'll go ahead and I'll let, let you guys start introducing yourselves a little bit, and then we'll go after that. We'll go to the next step. I did not hear that very well, Johnny. No. I I see you. Oh, hold up. Say something. Okay, I'm I'm here. I, I just oh, had here. to read it for a few seconds, so sorry yep, about that. Yep. You're good. Well, I saw Johnny was trying to talk, but the didn't hear and the audio wasn't that loud uh, on it. That. Don't like it was scraping or something. So, so, try saying something, John, real quick. Mm -hmm. so, All right, it must be. A, you, you sound robotic, so maybe a bandwidth issue for you. Give me a sec. Yeah, it was getting better, but. I, yeah. I don't know if it's. Still robotic. Yeah, it still sounds still robotic. Yeah. But you're getting an idea again. All right, Johnny, while you're working on whatever issue that's going on, uh, go ahead and we'll turn it over to Roland. Sure. Okay, um, I'm sorry. What what do I need to introduce? Just like my character wise or? Um... Well, no, just uh, us as people. Oh, that way, okay, yeah. That way um, we well, can break down possibly a uncomfortable wall of and then we'll get into other situations uh, for your characters, actually. Ah, okay, okay, I get you. Um, well, I'm, my name's Roland, um, I live in Texas, I'm 36. I've got some kids, so if there's ever some loud noises in my in the background, you know, I'll, I'll mute it as fast as I can, but, you know, that, that is an issue. <laughs> um, what else? We'll be blaming um, it on the kids, got it, yep, good. Yeah, yeah, blame it on the kids, blame it on the dogs. Um, yeah. <laughs> I've, you know, I played D&D, &D, you know, since I was about 13, 14, so. I played. I've had a few. I have a few years under my belt on that, and um, I play 5e pretty often. So, you know. Um, other than that, I'm playing a dwarf cleric, and I, I, I don't know. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> well, well, I'm sure we'll get to more in a bit. Uh, yeah. I'm sure. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, uh, my name is Isaac. Um, you'll find me on Facebook with Isaac Marble. Um, uh, I'm currently lo uh, or, uh, I, li I, I live on the west coast. Uh, uh, so I'm, I'm three hours behind all y'all. Um, and uh, yeah, um, currently looking at a light cleric. Um, I will say um, my work schedule tends to be different each week. Um, so while I can uh, sometimes work things in or work around things well enough, uh, the if if you know like like I often will have time during the week to do stuff, but like I don't have other engagements most of the time. But uh, sometimes work will rear its ugly head, um, and so um, that's definitely a thing for me. Um, uh, yeah, sorry. So the cleric I was looking at was a cleric of light. I might change it depending on party comp, but I'm <clears throat> work. I'll work with whatever shows up. Oh, and I guess I've been playing for a while. Not fifth edition, obviously, but role playing games for like 15, 20 years. Fif closer to 15, 15. All right, uh, Johnny, are you, I see you're back. Uh, All right, can y'all better now? It's, it's a little bit better. It's not as uh, not as robotic, but it has a, a tint a tint to it. But it's all all good. I guess I guess it works out for me anyway. Oh, yeah, um, much better. You're good. Way better, yeah. All right. Well, um, I'm Johnny. I um, I guess I've been. I want to say maybe like 12, 13 years. I actually started getting into like uh, tabletop and LARPing option like stuff and um, like D and D. I played probably most of the time. I've also done White Wolf. Uh, what did White Wolf do? They did. Um, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't Scion or Masquerade. They were. Um, was it Fate? I I've recognized White Wolf. Okay. Well, the um, well, I've actually done, I've actually played Sound before, but the but like oh, the they are they are a masquerade. Yeah, but they also like yeah, it's like also like uh, I did a lot of like World of Darkness. I also was in a bunch of World of Darkness games at one point or another. Fair. Yeah. Both the like the original ones and like the new ones when they popped off, and then. Oh. Then this whole god machine option is, and, and then, and then from there I started uh, wheeling off a bit due to like scheduling and jobs and other interests I had. Uh, but um, yeah, like I, for the most part lately, like I've mostly been, uh, I've mostly been in D and D games lately. Yeah. Uh, for this for this game, I made a a warforged sorcerer called Mickey. <laughs> Uh, he he tells people that he used to be human. Maybe that's true. <laughs> and the uh, <laughs> he tells people he used to be human, and that the the face on his shield is actually his old one. Oh, nice! Oh boy! <laughs> because yeah. the uh, because his, he's he's warforged, so he actually has no facial expressions of his own. <laughs> and you guys know that uh, I told you uh, you can pick one. Uh, yeah, common uh, magic item. Yeah, that's that's the one I chose. Yeah, uh, just making sure that y'all got that. And the only thing I wanted with that was the uh, um, a little bit of a background on on how you, you came by it. Whether it was an heirloom, whether it's something that you tripped across or dug up, or actually, I think uh, I wrote it. I, I know I, you I, did. <laughs> <laughs> We were talking about you. You should have been burning with it. I, I said uh, I, in the messenger, uh, I'm going to have to copy that and put it in a, a Word document so it's easier for my old eyes to read. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, you guys. Hello. Hey. Hey, you. And uh, the computer working for you now, huh? 
Yeah, uh, for <laughs> David it is. So uh, that it, Johnny, that you have um, at the moment. Yeah, like I have the character pretty much done. I was gonna, I was gonna post it on the event page to show it, what I do with the character. Okay, well, that's uh, that's a, not a problem at all because, well, here again, like I said, just trying to get everybody that's going to play together to kind of introduce themselves so they feel a little bit more comfortable, uh, and that way we can have maybe more of well, hopefully more fun than we, uh, but the role play may may make role playing uh, the characters a little easier. Uh, yeah. Right. So when, when my character is like, I hate you, I'm going to kill you in your sleep. It's not what <laughs> yeah. I'm saying. It's my character. <laughs> yeah, I think we got David out of that phase. Oh, no good. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> no. but, but with that, we'll throw it over to David and I'll stop picking on him. <laughs> oh, okay. Now, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you want to make promises nice to you meet you. keep there, Charles. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Well, you want me to introduce my character? Okay, fair no, enough. No, no, not your character, mind. just you. Uh, right oh, now, me? Yeah, we're just oh, no. a short little introduction of who we are. All right. And that way pe uh, everybody can All get right. a feel for the personalities right. and like that. And then we'll get into some of the other stuff. Okay, so my name is David. Most people call me the Bard. I love storytelling. I love to tell a story. I have been role playing for about seven, eight years now online. Uh, before online, I started to role play in a tiny, tiny little group uh, in my little area. And we used to meet up quite regularly. I used to play sort of powered by the apocalypse system and fate system. And we sort of dabbled in D and D second uh, edition, uh, then people had to go to work and college and university as 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 we sort of you know as we sort of grew up and whatnot. So we sort of lost contact with each other, and and then like I, I wasn't role playing for a long time, and then and then uh, then the computer sort of like the internet was sort of internet came about. And then Roll20 came about and someone said that I should give it a go. So I signed up to Roll20 and my very first game on Roll20 was Werewolf the Forsaken, a Chronicle of Darkness, World of Darkness game. Yes. And I, yeah, and I got really into that and I sort of wanted to explore this sort of role, you know, just World of Darkness sort of uh, genre. So I found out there was a company called White Wolf and Onyx, and, uh, Onyx Path, and someone told me that I should uh, read Werewolf the Apocalypse. It's more fun and more better. So more better, I started to. I <laughs> yes, I got. In, I I got. I started to read that, and that really hooked me. And ever since then, I got into World of the Darkness and I've been playing World of Darkness on Roll20 for about, like I said, seven, eight years now. I've been playing a lot, I've been running a lot of Vampire the Masquerade games for people and uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse for people. Uh, don't touch Mage because Mage is too complicated. <laughs> and so is Wraith. And so is Changeling. But they are, they are fun if you know how to uh, physically run them. But they, they can be very difficult, especially for... Um, new players or new storytellers. Uh, but yeah, uh, then I got into Vampire Masquerade 5th edition and I've been collecting that and got really in and I got involved in that. And yeah, I've just been really intrigued by modern tone, dark setting of the world of, of the, uh, you know, world of, you know, world of, the, you know, world of darkness really. And recently I've just been invited by a GM, can't remember his name, into a DD basic red system, the old box system. And I'm playing uh, Tarande, the uh, elf, the elf class, <laughs> which is interesting. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think the, I think the guy's actually going to be jumping into this group here in a moment. Yes, he I'm is. Uh, yes. Uh, yes, yeah, so I've talked to him on uh, roll yeah. 20. 
<laughs> yeah, so I'm playing. I'm playing. I'm playing a physical class known as an elf, <laughs> which yes. is really fascinating. Um, oh. But yeah, and yeah, I have, and I also played in this uh, in the guild quite a few times as different characters, exploring what sort of character fits me. But I never can find one. But that, you know, I always change different characters and try different methods of different characters until I find something that really fits my personality and really fits my sort of tone of playing, really. But there uh, you go, really. Hey, guys. Hi, Dave. Hi, oh, yes. Let me turn off um, Discord. All right. Oh, I should get you back. Yeah. And this is our last gentleman. Uh, uh, and and uh, what we're doing here right now, Ed, is uh, just introducing each other personally to get uh, get that initial personality feel and break down a couple um, walls if there are walls. and Because not everybody that uh, plays online is really comfortable with groups and until they get to know each other. So that that's in hopes of trying to get this alleviated. I think it's a fair statement to say that as nerds, people in general is are the hardest things we have to deal with on a consistent basis. <laughs> <laughs> there are those aspects. True. Yeah. Uh, so, you here, Ed? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Oh, who we drop now? Oh, uh, David. <laughs> he's been he's been having tech issues. Yeah, um, uh, yeah. Uh, thing, uh, you know, being over in the UK, things sometimes, you know, our spans sometimes things are problematic, but. Uh, how do I change my avatar here? Um, your, av your avatar here? Yeah, how do you change the video? The, the picture, yeah, it's uh, you gotta video go into, settings. Yeah, I was going to say you go into uh, what virtual it, background, maybe? Video advance. Profile? Video ah, there it is. Uh, let me see uh, right uh, here if I can do it. Uh, yeah, I think it's virtual background. No, so, okay, so the, how it is, is you, so you do the arrow to start video, go to profile, and then click on the image that has the, that would be showing up. Mm. It, right. Like if you, if you hover over your name, it will then open up a thing to show. A Before picture. you come in the room. I think you can do it after. Yeah. Um, but essentially, what you do is you 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 click the arrow next to start video, go down to profile, on the thing that pops up. There's like a tab on the left. If you click profile, it'll give you an option to click on your image, for your. Yeah, I see rename. I don't see. Uh, go to. Oh. Go there to video settings. Click on that. And then... Oh, you might also be on. Um... So if you click on the arrow, and then it would be <coughs> video settings. Yeah, it'd be under video yeah. settings. Sorry, yeah. All right, I'm in video settings. And then it should um... hit profile. Yeah. I forgot about that step. Yep. And then profile. you can go on the window uh, of what's above the name there. And. Uh... You don't see profile. So when it pops up the second window that says settings, it, you don't see the. No, it just says general video. It should be down. In the background, share screen. Are you, are you on a phone or? No, I'm on a the... computer, laptop. Okay. And then um, are you using uh, a browser to open it or are you using um, something else? <laughs> Most likely a browser, I guess. Okay. Okay, that's probably because that it needs be... it needs a separate it needs a profile to change the picture of. Well, I think. Yeah. Start I, zoom I when... because you can run Zoom like three yeah. ways. Uh, you right. download the application, and then you got full uh, view of a lot of things. You can run it from the URL, which limits some things, and you can run it from your phone, which there's uh, some things from the. Uh, that OS that uh, kind of limits you uh, somewhat with uh, 
the range of view and right and things like that but uh i'll just leave it like this it's okay yeah, so all we're doing uh, i mean really all we're doing today is introducing ourselves getting the expectations uh managed and and like that then the and then enter and then getting the characters introduced and set on up and and just asking questions and basically administrative type things so when we do start the uh the game that um a lot of the there'll be minimal questions there's always going to be questions but there'll be minimal questions outside right. of that um so if uh you want to introduce yourself uh ed to the rest of the guys that's uh be appreciated all right um so i'm ed bloodworth i uh i've been playing role-playing games for over 40 years uh i'm going to i'm looking to play uh a uh a fighter uh first level fighter named uh, Roche Blackborn, and uh, he's kind of a, he's a sellsword, but he's, he's not solely motivated by, um, by money. Uh, there's certain jobs that he won't do, um, so he doesn't like taking jobs that will uh, potentially harm um, people weaker than the establishment basically and he doesn't like taking jobs where it's pitting one noble house against another because uh you know there's there's just you know long lasting backlash for that kind of thing so he he's kind of picky and choosy about the kind of jobs that he does take uh, but when he does uh when he does take a job he follows it through and uh and he's, he's kind of merciless when it comes to getting the job done. So he, he's not uh, he's not kind in combat. Let's, let's put it that way. He will uh, he will do whatever it takes to uh, to win. It. All right. Uh, well, um, just so you know, Ed, uh, I think your mic is very heavily rubbing against something, like repeatedly. Yeah, all right. Um, it sounds like sawing or rubbing. Yeah, it sounds like actual yeah. sawing. Or maybe you are sawing. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> what, 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 what. <laughs> play D&D well, carpentry, you know. Yeah, let's see. Uh, it might be because maybe there's two windows open. That sounds yeah. better now. Yeah, it's gone okay. now. I don't know what it was. <laughs> but it was it like the, two the windows entire introduction. I'm like, oh, this is a great yeah, introduction, yeah. but <laughs> it looks like that's okay. in the background. All right, but it stopped, right? Yeah, yeah, it's, 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 yeah it's okay. I don't know what it was. <laughs> and uh, and for you, you guys, uh, for your information, I'm recording the, uh, this. That way, you'll be able to go back. I'll, I'll go ahead and uh, I'll post it uh, for you uh, for you uh, to where you can find it, and you'll be able to go back and reference it if you need to. Yeah, and yeah. Th are you doing this one, um, whatever, unlicensed as well, or uh, like it's not searchable? as well or are you uh, oh as unlisted oh, well unlisted, that's good yeah, that's uh, that'll called. depend on the group everybody else sounds good fair enough as as far as that uh, that's also one of the things here to uh discuss fair enough. as as far as that as far as recordings do you want a pri uh, private aka uh unlisted on youtube or doesn't it matter? It's up to you. Well, with me, it doesn't matter. So, yeah. I mean, let's just say I'm not photogenic. So, as long as no cameras are on, I'm fine with it. Either way. Well, the the all the camera is on, but it's, no, I mean on my face. I don't care about. It. <laughs> well, it's it's whatever you're posting up on your. All right. Well, uh, there you from go. Your, from your camera as far as uh you know as far as your audio on what you're showing all i'm saying is that i have to shave this beard off if okay. i'm gonna put my face in public no but you don't need you, and that's that's the thing I'm, I'm i'm saying you don't need to put the a live camera on you but if you, <laughs> you use the avatar oh yeah 
then that's to me that's more than fine that's pl that's plenty you don't even need to do that just the uh just like johnny has right now just the name uh, his name going across there uh Good enough, like that that works it's just whether or not you want it uh yeah. you want it public or unlisted so because there's another and there's been one or two other uh, groups that i've been in that where i record and they don't they like the recording but they uh, don't want it public for whatever so if we have one that doesn't want it public then i'll keep it unlisted cool cool sorry i had issues with the old network there <laughs> oh, yeah well, uh, I, I, we've noticed that's okay we, we figured but uh yep. i'd say right now uh, if well, what's the uh what's the feedback on that so i know so uh, don't become an issue later public or unlisted i'm fine either way okay i am also fine either way okay i'm fine either okay. way <laughs> I'm, I'm good okay. it doesn't matter and rolling Oh, I'm fine. No, so I took my last name off my my thing. So I mean, other than yeah, that, that's okay. and, and to be honest, what you put up on there is totally under your control. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I think we're good. Okay. No problem. Then uh, that's all. The uh, next next thing uh, I guess is uh, we'll go with uh, what is the best day uh, for people? Ooh, that's a good question. Well, that's why it was asked. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty good. Honestly, with me, I'm pretty good any day as long as it's, it's closer to the either like evening, you know, like um, I guess after dinner, you know, usually for me. Is it like six or five or seven? Yeah, like five, six, whatever. As long as I plan okay. it ahead of time, you know, I'm good. So, all right. Yeah, same. Yeah, for, for now, I'm also the same way. Yeah, my, uh, for me, because I'm in England, yeah, it's basically anything like run about this sort of time or whatever time it is for you <laughs> over there over the pond. But mostly, I'm mostly free uh, roughly after, you know, like, sort of like yeah sort of this sort of time sort of like seven o'clock now my time i don't know what it is over there for you but i think it's five or no it's it, right it's now. early right <laughs> yeah right now for me i'm on the east coast it's 239 we have uh roland that's uh in texas so he's and depending on mm. i guess depending on what part of texas right or are, is texas all central time I think it's all central. It's all, time. It's all central yeah. time. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm I'm from Texas too. So. Cool. Yeah. Right. Anytime. So that's anytime an you... that's an hour behind myself on the East Coast. Uh, Isaac's three hours back from me. Now, now, luckily, I tend to need to play in the mornings actually because I work in the evenings. But because I'm way earlier than everybody else here, pretty much, that's usually fine. <laughs> and that's assuming <laughs> I'm working. So. Okay. And that's um, that's so then that's gonna vary, so I won't, you know. Yeah, any time after tea, you'll be fine. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I, I mean, the best like the best sort of examples I can give for e, e, EST because I play a lot with American people is roughly about six, six EST time or five EST time, roughly after dinner. So anything after dinner in American time is good for me. There you awesome. go. Okay. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty late, but for you, I'm, but it, yeah, it works for you. It works for you. And uh, I'll and with with that <sighs> aspects that we're going to be working around, I'll keep the sessions to three hours. And cool. It may bounce on a little under, or bounce a little over, just to where we need to tie it up, because I won't end the session in the middle of a death blow, or. <laughs> the battle so 
Uh, oh, my cliffhanger. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's still, the, there's still <laughs> aspects of cliff, uh, cliffhangers that can be had, but uh, it, it made but, me think of uh, it made me think of uh, Forged in Fire when when they're saying, "Let's see how it does on the strength test," and then they cut to a video just before, and you were expecting the blade to break as soon as they hit the uh, you know the bar or whatever they're going to do. Yeah. But. Uh, I, 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 I uh, that's the only thing I'll say about that is I'll, uh, I'll make it so there's a, a stock. It, it may, it could be in a combat, but it's not going to be in the middle of a, a situation that don't make mm -hmm. some reasonable sense. Oh yeah, of course, of course. As as far as that, and uh, as uh, like that, and so we'll. So I'm taking, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the six o'clock EST time works for everybody. Yeah, that could work. Yeah, yeah that's, that's, it depends on the day, but yeah. Yeah, yeah six six o'clock EST on Sundays is after church for me, so that's fine. All right. Yeah. yeah. That, me too. So uh, my next question is day. <laughs> Day. Uh, so, is Sundays better for everybody? Um, uh, right now, with this thing that's going on, Sunday is good. But once work starts back up, Sundays will get well. At least when school starts again, Sundays will get bad. But at least for right now, it's fine for me. Well, well Sundays well, might be a bit tricky for me, but I'll see what I can do. All right. I, I can do. I can do any other day as well. By the way, so yeah. Like overall, like I'm. I'm free to do any day as long as I know in advance, okay. so I can plan it properly. Exactly. Yeah, same, same um, here, really. Yeah, same here. Yeah. Okay. And plus, if it's like once a month, it shouldn't be too hard to schedule one day. Twice. Well, it's, it's twice. Hopefully not. But yeah. <laughs> twice, or twice, twice, yeah. Twice a month, but uh, yeah. is, is what I'm looking at. Very end of the month, it'll be two days left to be like, okay, these are the two days we're playing back to back. <laughs> oh, yeah. I go. hope not to do that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, That'd be kind of fun, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, whatever but, works for people. <laughs> whatever works. But um, so I'm trying to really get a feel on the best day for folks. Uh, I, I, I yeah, understand that a lot of people are fluid. Yeah. What I will say for me is that in general, Saturday to Monday is pretty good to, for me to do stuff. Okay. Tuesday, Tuesday to Friday is usually fine as well, but that tends to be when I'm scheduled for work and um, or doing other things. So, um, like I can usually make those days, but it's going to be much later, yeah. uh, or is going to have to be much earlier. It won't be that so, convenient 6 p.m. time that we just said. So, so, so how's Monday for everybody? Monday's yeah, brilliant for me. Monday's okay. fine for me. Monday's gonna work for me. Yeah. Right. And rolling Monday good for you even during school? That is fine for me. Okay. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll do it at uh, six o'clock approximately, six o'clock Eastern time on Mondays. Sounds nice. nice. That that'll put Johnny and Roland at five. It'll put uh David at nine, I believe. That's fine with me. Start time. That'll put uh, Isaac at uh, three. Uh, yeah, three. And Ed's on the same time zone I'm on, I believe. Right. Yeah, six o'clock. So if that works, that's, that's great. And so we got that one nailed on down. And uh, let's. Yeah, see. and that'll make the next oh. gaming session, I, I'm guessing. Uh, May fourth. Well, I don't. Uh, we could make it that. That was where I'm going to go. Is what date do you guys want to start this at? Yeah, because remember we we do have uh, Cobalt Con, the yeah. first through the third. So that yeah. weekend is kind of out. Well, the, oh, mon luckily Monday isn't the weekend. But yeah. yeah, but I was going to say we could either do it the twenty seventh, which is the uh, Monday before. To yeah. start a cobalt con, <laughs> or we can do it the Monday after cobalt con. We could start there, 
I just, I don't want creative juices to get stagnant. And there's some people I know are very creative. In fact, they need to be locked up, David. <laughs> is, that, is that me? Yes, yeah, it's you. Not me. <laughs> Damn you. You have a very active imagination. I always told you I love that about you, but. Uh, uh, yes. But yeah. sometimes, hey, some, someone... sometimes it just gets a little overpowering. <laughs> it's, it's. When everybody in the group is like, "Is it me?" Oh no, it's so <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Um, it's me. Uh, <laughs> for, yeah. You can't blame me. I like <laughs> thinking. I, I, I'm just that sort of person. I know. I didn't blame you. I just described <laughs> you. I blame you for being imaginative. Uh, yeah. How how insulting. Um, <laughs> yes. So I, I, I will say. I will say. Um, so today I'm available, which I wasn't sure how long we wanted to do something today. I, I was going tomorrow to try to... I'm available, and the 27th and the 4th. So I was going to try to keep keep this about within an hour, because I got some things I got to get together for a game, and I know Isaac does. <laughs> right. That's yeah. Right. And, uh, yeah. And I got so some, I don't. I, and I, I don't, got family to see to as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Fair enough. So. So, so, so the, I guess, I guess, is it? Are we talking about the twenty seventh or the fourth? Is yeah. I guess what's what's you know, what's people more comfortable with? Because that'd be our start our start point, and then approximately every two weeks, every 20, other week from there. Twenty fourth sounds good. That sounds good too. The twenty seventh, not the twenty fourth. Oh, the the twenty seventh, yeah. Yeah, twenty seventh is fine. That's okay, fine. it should be fine. Yeah. I. I if if work comes up, then I'll let people know. But yep, it should be. That's fine. all. That's all I ask. Uh, uh, and that's the other thing. Uh, life happens. Uh, I, I, we're all grown ass adults. And, uh, and oh yeah, twenty seven. Uh, sorry, yeah. Yeah, twenty seven sounds good. And so just uh, the earliest, the earliest that you know that things are going to be an issue for you on things, then just let me know. And then we'll see how we can adjust fire as, as, as far as that. But as soon as you know, it's like this weekend. I had uh, some family medical issues that happened like that. And, you know, you can't predict those. So there's life events like that. I'm, and I understand those. But there's other life cool. events where we know, like scheduling or some things that happen that, uh, you know, at least if we got... If I have 24 hours notice, then I can formulate how to kill the character. Right. Exactly. That seems yes. Fair. That seems <laughs> fair. <laughs> cool. Uh, all right. So, uh, tw okay, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. 27 sounds good. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm down for the 27th as well. All right. Good. Then that's uh, be our first one at six o'clock Eastern, mm -hmm. five o'clock Central, uh, three o'clock. Pacific and nine o'clock UK, UK. <laughs> London. Boom, boom, boom. Ah. That's a mouthful. Yeah. Yeah. As as far as that. Okay, so we got those all pounded down. So the next thing is uh where do you guys want to start this game? Are you asking yeah. in, a, in a in a technical sense or in a setting sense? Uh, I would say kind of both, but uh, where uh, and here I'll share the map. Let's see here. Home. Uh, a local tavern. What? <laughs> Every what? adventure starts at a, ta at a tavern. <laughs> where? Where on here? Which continent? general area do you guys want to uh... the area that has no sand okay. i do not want to start in a desert <laughs> well that's this that's, that's a big part of the land there too so well it's damn actually it's only probably what a quarter of the total land mass i mean it's it's not an insignificant sized desert no, but uh, there you go. Yeah, well, <laughs> it is a great waste there, uh, in of a different type, other than the frigid great waste up here. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. So a, uh, what I'm hearing is a lot of wasted space on this map. No, just kidding. Yes. <laughs> um, a lot of wasted space for players to create stories at. Yeah. So what I will say is from other games I've played, um, the upper area where the, the frozen great wastes, as you call them, and Ironwood, I played a lot in there. So either we should avoid that place to try a new place and see new content, as it were, yeah. or we should go there if you, Charles, want to go there for stuff. To, to me, because it does, it's already made up. See, to me, it doesn't matter. So in, in that case, I would say either south where those forests are or maybe along that kind of area immediately to the west of the desert or maybe to the east of the desert, one of those places. Cool. Well, you have, you have this across the pond. You got the island here. You got the Isle of Nisba here. And there's a couple isle. I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't. But over mm -hmm. on the far right of the desert, there's a couple islands over there. Cool. Oh, I see cool. them. Any, yeah. Anyway, I got to go because I got to attend to my family. So oh, I don't right. mind where we go as long as it's not a desert. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Seems good. Take care, you guys. Charles, yep. Yeah. We we did that one adventure down on this island down in the the center bottom, correct? Yeah. That was. I, that right. was yeah, that was uh, getting the last piece of the, the, the shard, the king's shard. Right, right. So I, I'm good with anywhere, because I have a different character anyway. Well, so yeah, planning. that's fair too. <clears throat> I guess question, uh, with the forests that are kind of south of the frozen stuff that we've been doing up in the north there, um, is, is there a lot, is there some town, I know there's at least one, but are, are there more towns like further south? What, over here? Nope, further south. Further south. Much further. All the way down. All the way. Right down yeah, here. Yeah. Down the forests down there. Are there towns over here? Yeah, I, yeah, there are. Uh, let me uh zoom this up so you can see. Because I know not a lot of content has been made for the Far East, and so that'd be completely new if you wanted to just do that. But I don't know of much that happened that has happened down there in other uh, games me... that we've done in this setting. Well, there's I think there was maybe one game. Hey, come here. Let me get uh Get that out of my road so I can. There we go. So I can zoom this up. We. Right I here. guess I could look at roll 22. I do have access but, to that. Uh, you're talking about here by the Bay of the Bard, right? I'm talking about, yeah, Bay of the Bar, the Great Forest, the Old Ones. Yeah. There's, there's a number of cities there. Like Land, Land, Land War, Bow. You got over here or. Or and, uh -huh. uh, and then you got down below that you got the island of Dors where uh, remember I was letting um... yeah and that actually could make some sense because I think one of the players was playing a Warforged if I'm not mistaken yeah yeah that's some right. of the because some of the the Ravnica and um, Eberron stuff was coming from the Isle of Dors yeah we could uh, we could, could do that sense. if uh, you guys want to. It's just uh, a thought. If you want to start there, or if there's someplace else where you want to start, then that's. Uh... My vote is either for somewhere over there or someone somewhere to the east of the desert. Those are my two votes. East of the desert. Of okay. the big desert, of the sand desert. All right. Well, I'll show you what's dry, over hot there. desert. Cool. As, as far as that, there's. There's the town of the east. Where that town here? The other other for cold city. Okay. Yeah. Um, that's, that's a glacier. Okay. Okay. Would be good time to turn. Yeah. Keep on landing him. Okay. That makes sense. That's, that's hard to tell. But I see it may be because of the there. It may be mm -hmm. things that are going to be there. We got the secret. This is where I'm needing our guys. We'll be here. Would be fun. We got to start. That's all we got. Right there. Those are my I'm kind of interested now on the east side, sort of. On the east side, okay. Yeah. East side Somewhere of the desert, you mean? Or yeah, like, yeah, the east side of the yeah. desert. Sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to the west side, yeah. 
Yeah, as opposed to the, uh, you know, the little island on the bottom or the west side. Yeah. That's just me, though. I mean. Well, that's what we have there on the east side. There's not a lot of cities that have been discovered or populated. There's some base ones that have been put there. So that's. We've got two votes for east of the desert. Okay. One vote for not in the desert. Uh, yeah. Um, Any other votes? <laughs> um, hmm. Honestly, I'm I'm fine with either with either setting. Yeah, I don't I don't care either way. All right. Okay. Got to so pick one though. Oh, well, we'll we'll say east of the desert. Yeah, you know, east of the desert's fine. And uh, maybe now, along the river, that'll be interesting. Yeah, yeah. I, I would imagine we'd travel, you know, following a river at least. Or or any major yeah. roads, which obviously would probably also travel along the river. <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. So we'll say, let's see here. Let me get my little bouncy ball. Come here. Where are you at? There, bouncy ball. So we'll say right here then have a combination of uh, river, grasslands, some forest. Yeah, that'd be cool. As, as far as that. And uh, alrighty. Sounds and, good. Uh, just have to think of a name for that city. But uh, that's easy enough to come on up to. Um, and with uh, as far as that. Now, um, Do you want to talk about characters or? Yeah, uh, that's what I was going to do. Yeah, characters. <coughs> so I know a lot of us have sent what we've like a uh, class race combo that we yeah. made. Um, sure. I don't remember all of them off the top of my head. Um, and I tend to have a billion ideas. And so I pick the one that best fits the party that, that I'm working with. Um, so if people want to throw out or type out what what those combinations were again i think uh i think david was doing a monk if i remember correctly yes female david it's a female monk johnny is a uh, was was it a human uh, monk yes okay i if i'm not mistaken and uh <coughs> johnny uh was a um, uh, RPG version of ROM thrown back in time, Warforged Sorcerer. Um, correct, Johnny? Yeah, I'm, a, uh, I'm playing a Warforged Sorcerer. Yeah. Uh, I'm, doing, uh, I'm doing the Stone Sorcery yep. origin. Yes. And then we have uh, Roland, which is a dwarf uh, Tempest Cleric, so that should be fun. All right, all right, all right. And then we have a fighter, right? Yeah, and Ed's playing Oof. a fighter, but uh, I don't remember what the race is. A human. Human? human oh, okay. Yeah. The most complicated of combinations. Well, <laughs> it's, it's, it's like, don't worry about it. It can be. Yeah, yeah, I, can, actually, yeah. I find, <laughs> find humans are kind of easier. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, as far as that, but uh, okay. So there's yeah. your. There's my combo. Yeah, we got. We got. We got. A, we actually have a. That's actually a really balanced party. <laughs> it can um, be. Yeah. Does anybody feel like there's a class that we're missing? Because otherwise, I'll just play cleric of light, and we'll have two clerics, and that'll be awesome. Well, I say play what you want, dude. I mean, if that's, that's fun, because I think that'll be cool. That's a lot of, well, a lot of hit points. That's always my, my retort is. Oh, oh, for got, sure. You guys play what you want because yeah, if, you, if you're. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What I want is everything. I want to play everything. Um, okay. So. Yeah. We'll have to run multiple games. Uh, multiple <laughs> there you go. Uh, we'll play to twenty. 
thousand characters. But, okay. I say yeah. do it, man. Yeah, just, yeah. Uh, I'll just play clerical light. Whatever. Two clerics means the party's OP. That means. Hell yeah. <laughs> Got lots of heals. Yeah, yeah I can I, pull up my. Uh, oh wait, let's try this. Yeah, I'll probably I'm pull be up my more. Character than, details, but. Uh, I'm, I'm a strength. I'm 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 going strength on it. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, clerics all... of light are are actually kind of weirdly um like. AOE casters, like blasters, because oh, yeah. they have fire spells. <laughs> uh, yeah. The, the uh, only thing I will ask of the, you gentlemen, yeah, I, I won't say only, but the one thing, uh, one uh -huh. thing I will ask is uh, the characters that you have for this, you keep them, uh, keep them for this campaign. All right. Okay. Solid. As, as, as far as that, I, because I know I'll be running other games in the UAG, and this one's just good. Uh, this one, I just was, I'm trying this campaign idea, <clears throat> and not so much plug and play, but uh, right. that's cool. Now, are we using are we using our characters in? Um, like I already uploaded the um, the character onto Roll Twenty. Okay, I so did is too. That, is that where you want them? At, if that's where you want to put them, you, it's fine. You yeah, because I already have that. You don't have to, but if that's where you want it, that's fine. Yeah. As as far as that, because what if you like rolling from Roll Twenty or using Roll Twenty? We have that. That's why I got it there. It's uh, it's for that feel, that comfort, or <clears throat> whatever. Yeah, because right now I can't uh, I can't log into the um, the D and D Beyond where I have the character character stored. Okay. Yeah. But I Real do have it on. Say again. Convenient. I was oh. just gonna say if you have it on Roll Twenty, then that's convenient. Uh, yeah, it's already on roll twenty. It's or he's already, you know, rolled out. Yeah, <clears throat> that's that's fine. I don't use D and D beyond much. Uh, yeah. to be honest, uh, my for myself, uh, not that I got much against it. It's just I don't use it that much. Um, as far as that, too many uh, too many things for an old man and his mind to try to comprehend. As far as that, so um, I, I have a question for you, Charles, about the I magic got, item. Okay, I got an answer. Oh, good. Um, moon touched sword um, was <laughs> one of the common magic items. It says, "Weapon, any sword. Can it be a mace? Is a mace a sword? Uh, in fact, it's not a sword. Not, it's not a sword. What I'm asking really is, can no. I not use a sword? <laughs> no. Okay, that's we, fine. No, I, did I say that? I, I thought you did. No. I, uh, where, what I was going to say is you you can reskin that to the mace, basically. The only thing that won't make sense is if it's piercing or slicing damage. You'll just have to adjust it to bludgeoning. Well, the, the reason I'm asking is because my character doesn't have proficiency with martial weapons. Okay. So either I use it or I don't use it or I don't take it. That's well, I'm just saying how to re how, just how to reskin it so it would make some sense. Okay, let yeah. me see if yeah. I can. Like it's just wouldn't it just be kind of more of like a flavor of the weapon, not necessarily has to be a sword or you know. Well, right. That's then, what and that's what I'm flexing here is the is yeah. I Works gave for me. I gave you that. Uh, table from wizards so you had a good idea of what there was there you you have other events for it that you think will be good for the character and story <clears throat> then just like that you just bring it forward and say yay or nay and and that's not breaking and that's not going to break the game so it's too easy to say yeah just reskin it like this all right. 
Right. Um, I got to run, guys. Uh, nice meeting you all. Yep. Yeah. I'll be in touch, uh, Charlie. Yep. Uh, like I said, I'll I'll post this up for for y'all the re reference I'm back to, and then like with you and David, whatever pieces that you missed, you'll be able to see. All right. Have a good one. Yep. You too. Ed. See you later. See you later. Catch you later. So, all right, there we are on that one. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, yeah, just give me on the on the, like I said on the common magic item. Give me the a little bit of the background on how you found it, came across it, got it. I think my character got it from their church. Okay, that's fine. Um, and uh, then specifically, a, a there's a teacher there that has to do with their background. So, and just work up a uh, a small background on your character a little bit for story and flavor. Yeah, plenty um, of that. As yeah. as, far, <laughs> as as far as as far as that. And then um what I think I'll do is I'll uh let me get that out of the road. What I think I'll do is uh, before you go into the city here that uh you guys kind of met up out here about uh, a day's worth of travel to the city, which would be 30 miles. Each of these hexes is 30 miles. Mm -hmm. And that you have a campsite that you guys set on up. You uh, came on into it, joined up uh, for background. And then our next session will start from that point and and work it uh, where you guys are around the campfire talking to each other, maybe um, telling why you're headed this way, you know, building the story of why you're going into the city. And I'll have the name of the city done on up before the next game, and I'll put it in the, uh, the group chat. The other thing is um, if you guys want to make up a different name for your your group or troop or whatever other than the crew. <laughs> <laughs> um, feel free let uh, and talk amongst yourselves. And when you come up to where you guys agree on it, uh, then that's what will work on into the storyline for you guys to. Uh, bring forward and then I'll change the name of the uh, chat group to that. Sure. Okay. Um, when you're talking about the thing around the campfire, were you saying we we're going to do that at the start of next session or were you saying we do that in the chat or? Well, you can do that in the chat uh, where you guys come into the campfire. Uh, but yeah, the uh, next session will start at the campfire. At the Not, campfire? Uh, yeah, at the campfire out, outside. We'll say it's um, five, six o'clock. Uh, it's uh, springtime, uh, about middle spring, and not too bad, but just a little bit of a chill. That's why you have a fire going. Maybe, maybe you're cooking food, and we'll go from there. Would we'll, we'll you guys role playing the interactions there? But that's. Uh, let's see here. I think I can put a stamp. Yeah, I'll put the that stamp right there. Is what we'll have you about a day's a, a day's travel to get into the city. As far as that and. Uh, And then that's where we'll we'll pick that that on up uh, with the char all the character interaction there. Um, uh, let's see here. Anything else that would be pertinent? Any questions any of you guys have that I might have missed, or I would suggest. Oh, the other thing I would suggest. Uh, 
that you look at the the UAG's players guide because uh, the rest and like that we run rest a, a little bit grittier and so and such and at low levels it may make a fair difference somewhat yeah fair enough okay sounds good um okay uh but when you're and and it's I, I if you have any questions on it just get a hold of me and i'll try to answer them I think it's fairly well explained in there. Uh, and any other questions, just get a hold of me during the time, and we'll we'll work them on out and get them answered for you. Um, anything else that you guys feel you want to ask, talk about? Yeah, this is somebody who wants that. Um, do people want to talk a bit about how characters came together or are we saving that for the start of the session in the what? sense of like, do people want to talk about like, um, uh, like I get you. I, I get what you clarification mean. Clarification um, of what you, things. Yeah. Like what, like how, how we would, how this party would have formed basically. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And, and if you, if you want to do that on uh, chat throughout, or do it now that's up to up to you guys i think i would rather do it on the chat just because i do have other things i need to do all right but, um, but I, I mean i i don't mind talking from now till we game about all of that you know what i yeah, mean um, that's, yeah that's that way okay. that way we know our characters a little better too and yep. can plan stuff out ahead of time that's that's Love fine it. i don't have an issue with that and if you need to go johnny go go for it yeah. Good luck. I'll catch y'all later. I'll I'll uh, I'll see you on the chat. Yep. Perfect. All right. Bye guys. Yeah. Bye. I'll catch y'all later as well. All right. Cool. All right. All right. I'll, I'll update the chat. Let y'all know what's up. All right. Cool. I'll do the same. All righty. Later. Um, yep. Yep. All right. Let's see here. Any other questions? <laughs> From me, huh? Um, well, I, hey, I'm no. just. Yeah, I'm it's just, fair. It's fair. Um, just tying some things up. Let me stop the yeah. share on this. Don't need that. And no. Uh, yeah. So. What? I, here's what I'll tell you. Um, for for your sake, for yeah. while you, when you're making stuff, I have um. On the character sheet in roll twenty. Okay. For my character, which I'm actually going to put my name next to, so that you can, you know. Who that is? Why is my C keep doing that? Anyway, um, uh, under the back character backstory, that's where I put backstory. So yep. if you need that's to look right. something up, right there. Um, All right. Yeah, there's a little I'm... bit. There's a little bit of stuff related to her like be, uh, background feature, yeah. shelter the faceful under additional features and traits as well. But that's if you need to look anything up. Well, um, the reason why I was asking about the short little backstory one to the help drive some of the interaction between the rest of the you and the players the other 100%. is so i can look at it and see if there's maybe certain things i'd like to throw at times out there as hooks or uh treasure or goals and in, in that way yes yes 100 percent. obvious obviously a good idea yeah, um, and I'll be monitoring the chat uh, because we're still recording. So, uh, so the other guys when when and if they watch this all the way through, they'll they'll know the reasoning behind it. So I know I'm being very... yeah yeah yeah. I'm just letting you know um, yep. where you can find information because yep. no I don't, problem. Uh, I uh, what would it be? It would be um I wouldn't uh, post a a backstory for people to read because. It, the characters might not know the well, whole thing, right? <laughs> but yeah, maybe they do. So, but we'll get worried about that later. <laughs> yep. So, but yeah, I'm letting you know for the GM purposes. Yep. That's gotcha. right. All right. All right. Talk to you later. Yep. Uh, I guess in a few hours, presumably. Yep. All right. Later. <laughs>